Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this online interview series, Brave New Life for a Brave New World. My name is Clarissa Findlay, and I'm so excited to be here today with co-host Kate Burnish and our guest today, Lauren Powers. Lauren is an author, award-winning international speaker, actress, model, and the CEO, founder of Powers Fitness Events. She's a 10-time heavyweight bodybuilding champion, author, entrepreneur, actor, model, and founder of the Lauren Powers Classic, and now Powers Fitness Events, which represent Team USA, a respected fitness competition in Southern California that rewards success based on merit, not economics. Lauren is a teacher, mentor, and advocate for individual achievement and excellence. Lauren has always represented the underdog and is a passionate spokesperson for people who are different and lives the motto, it's the hard that makes it good. If it were easy, everyone would do it. Lauren, we're so excited to have you here. And I watched you on a Justin Bieber music video the other night. So that was a fun addition to add to your list of accomplishments. So we're so excited that you're here. Yes. Good to see you ladies again. It's been a while. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to have to link that video below so we can get access to it so people can. Yeah, that was exciting. They don't tell you who it is, so they cast you in these things, and it's all NDA, and it's all hush hush, and you're caught with a phone, like you get fired. It's like a really big deal. You can't take pictures. And wow. All that. Yeah, but as you saw, I got to sit right next to him. I was feeding him. I was like literally with yeah. him, the day, which was real exciting. My other big one that's really thrilling um, right before that was uh, Jennifer Lopez. Oh, oh nice. I have to watch that one, too. I manifested that, ladies. It was, I was watching World of Dance, and I come down. My friends are watching. I'm like, you know what? I've never worked with her, and I really do. I've worked with Lady Gaga. I've worked with um, Iggy Azalea, Jennifer Hudson, Nick Jonas, Katy Perry, just to name a few. I'm like, I love J Lo. I swear, you guys, my phone went off. There was a text. Are you available for a music video? And I'm like, no addition, like nothing. I I trusted the process. I showed up Saturday morning, and you know, I just drove up. The security guard comes over and he's like, good morning, ma'am. Are you here for the Jennifer Lopez music video? <laughs> and I'm like, yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was park anywhere. And it was amazing. And then there she was. And I'm the only one that got a photo with her. Like literally got the only one, about 300 people on crew and, and a cast. It was amazing. She's amazing. That's, awesome. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yes, I got, I got my picture. In fact, it's in my best-selling book, Beneath the Muscle, Unleash Your Inner Champion. And I got to take the picture, and she's like, well, you can't post it until the video's out. And I'm like, no worries. It's for my, it's for my book. She's like, oh, okay. And it was totally nice. <laughs> yeah, it was very exciting. Yeah, Super that's awesome. Exciting. Yeah, it manifested that. Literally, like, made that happen. And then that Justin Bieber, you know how he showed up all in pink? Mm -hmm. I was trying to manifest pink. I'm like, I love pink. I love pink. I want to work with pink. So <laughs> here he comes, pink hair, pink sweatshirt, pink hair. I'm like, I need to be clearer. <laughs> yeah. Specific with what I put. It was, I mean, when he sat down all in pink, I'm like, oh man, this is a, just crazy. But, That's a wonderful story. We were talking to someone, one of our speakers is Jen Mazur, who's the queen of manifestation. And um, yeah. she was talking about, you know, when you, you got to be clear about what you're asking for and that you can't do it wrong. So what a beautiful experience um, to follow yeah. up with you know, if people are listening, listen to that one too, of, you know, it's not wrong. So you had one thing in mind for pink, another kind of pink showed up, but you still get to go for what you want and you got blessings through, through what came through. Absolutely. That was just exciting. I mean, I just literally said out loud, I'm like, I need to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> this really happens. I, what's Ozzy has pink hair? Like, crazy just for that video so yeah it was it was exciting stuff and the j-lo thing was huge that was that was yeah. very, very be part of that cool. yeah, yeah and you know, you're cool saying thing. all these names of people that we look up to and admire and i love the way you're talking about it they're also just people that you can talk to um you know yeah. we're in this time of of considering who matters and it's not it's not some and not others that we, we all matter we all matter Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's. I think that's why I get along with them. Same with Lady Gaga. The same thing. Like no one was talking to her, and I'm right next to her. Hey, you like my tattoo? Because I did a fake tattoo, and it said Lady, and, and I'm like, look at it. <laughs> and I'm like, don't talk to her. She's like, I like you, and I'm like, yeah, you should. <laughs> like all day, I was like in tons of scenes with that video, and 
you know, I just treat them like people. And it's the same thing. I mean, I'm in my industry, I'm considered a celebrity as well. And I like when people just talk to me normal. Like it's, it doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't matter. You know, sometimes it depends on where I'm at. It's like, I can't even eat. People are like waiting for pictures and, you know, they want autographs and all these kind of things. It's, it's something to deal with, but that's part of, that's part of the package. You know what I mean? But just being nice to everyone, treating everyone the same is where it's at. And I think that's been part of my forte since the inception of this whole Lauren Powers brand that I've created. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, I just treat everybody the same. And, you know, now with the book, this thing went best selling in 11 countries. So it was a big deal. Yeah, 98 categories. I'm like, I didn't even know there were 98 categories, <laughs> to be honest. With you. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. When, and when did it come out, Lauren? It's been out for a year now. So it's out for a year. Um, and I'm, you know, I speak about it. I've toured on it. I gave some people in our leadership of the books. Um, and what I'm really proud of is that it has a workbook. So it's, it's really not all about me just telling you about my life and my experiences. It's about how you can relate my past experience and journey and use it for your own. So there's a workbook after each chapter that you reflect on yourself. And whatever that is, setting you know positive intentions, keeping a positive mindset, setting your goals, whatever it is, based on the chapter, it has it has the questions. And I think that's you know I give it away for free and just lead with generosity, and that it really works. <laughs> really, and I'm excited about that because I've got so much so, such amazing feedback and positive reviews from people that I, I don't even know that have written like either on Amazon or email me, you know, personally or see me out and about and they're like, you know, they, or they call me even and message me on Facebook, whatever, they find me and they're just like, thank you so much. Your book's changed my life. It's helped me so much. I see that you can go through some of these, you know, tragedies and triumph over that and how you come out on the other side of these things is so powerful and so empowering and, and it just makes it all worth it, you know, and I just keep going because living this life is not always easy, especially right now is what you ladies are talking about in this, you know, this world today. It's never, I never thought we would be experiencing what we're going through in my lifetime, honestly. This has been such crazy, crazy times, but I've, I personally look at it as just opportunities and stay positive and just keep going. And no matter what's going on in the world and the news and all these things, I just try to stay true to myself and, and live this positive, generous, heartfelt, authentic life and I'm doing okay <laughs> it seems to work I've had no tragedies I'm like still thriving and sharing the message and just you know just doing my thing and living my life the way I I feel is is the way I want to be daring to be different living with my biceps and <laughs> you know just it just stay positive and really you know talking and, and I, I talk all over the place about uh, how important health is you know, my ideal clients are women that are 40, 50 plus that are women professionals, entrepreneurs like you ladies that spend so much time building their business that they forget about themselves. So I do this whole thing on mindset and really pushing that we need to take care of ourselves and that self-love and self-care, how important that is, especially in these times where the world is insane, that we've got to keep our immune system strong and our mindset strong and just, you know, stay within our power so we can combat whatever comes at us. And I know we talked about this before. It's so such a priority right now, and I just I have so I guess I'm so passionate about it. My purpose is so strong at this point in time that I just need to get the message out to as many people as I can. But like I said, my focus is on women that you know professional women because they spend so much time taking care of everybody else instead of themselves. You know, and I find this for in in my in my business so much that yeah. I'm just like. Train harder, you see, it says right there. Right. <laughs> well, and I well, love it's so needed. I mean, sorry, Kate, I just was going to say it's so needed. I've never in my life up to this point experienced such a need for that self care and taking care of myself. Like, mm -hmm. I just hit a wall way faster than I ever have before. And it's just been a huge wake up call for me of how imperative that is to your overall success in every area of your life oh, um, uh of being able to take that. Yeah, if you take care of yourself, everything around you wins. It's a win-win. But yet so many women, especially because of that nurturing, you know, gene that we tend to carry is that we put our, you know, our children, building our business, getting more clients, coaching, whatever it is, our profession, taking care of the husband and the house and all these things, they always come first. And at the end of the day, this is what I hear anyways. Oh, Lauren, I'm just so exhausted. There's no time for me. And I, you know, the last thing I feel like doing is going to the gym. 
and you know work it out. It's like that's no fun. And then their health starts failing, and then there's a problem. And if they go down, everyone suffers that they know and love. And that's it's it's crazy thinking. It's backwards to me. You got to put yourself first, not last. Is is the mindset here? Yeah. Well, that's the brave new life for a brave new world. You have to create your own life first before you can create it out there. And yet I'm also hearing you say, as you create it and build it within, you get to dream big and have a big impact. I mean, Lauren has a huge impact and she's not shying away from that, but you, it's built on a solid foundation of knowing yourself. And I love the quote of the hard that makes it good. The hard lets you know yourself. Sometimes it's those challenges that bring out the facets of yourself where you find your strength and your power and what really matters to you and start to learn how to take care of yourself. Yep. So critical. So critical. And I love the word brave. I just love that. My, my, my main word is fierce. I created the fierce formula, creating fierce females. Everything is fierce, fierce, but the brave is right in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and just go for it. Really, you, you stay strong and powerful. It's not necessarily physical strength. That yes, I'm uh, clearly have that. But for me, I once you get to know me, it's more mental. Mental fitness is just as important as physical fitness. It truly is. Is that taking care of ourselves and having that right, you know, in, intentions and mindsets and come from the heart and staying authentic and being true to who you are and not trying to be everybody else and or anyone else. And that's too hard. That's why I say, they're like, they're really like, they're like, Lauren, you're so heart, heart centered and you're so authentic. And I'm like, because it's too hard to try to be like anyone else. I don't want to do that. <laughs> you know, be yourself. And, and, you know, one of my topics I speak on is daring to be different. You know, clearly I don't look like everyone else and, and I'm proud of that. And I do it on purpose. You know, and I let people know my physique is on purpose to get your attention so you can see and know that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to health and fitness. You know what I'm saying? And so it all like trickles down. But you, it, you have to be brave. So there's that word again. You have to be brave to be fierce. You so may quote, quote me on that. <laughs> I'm going to write it down. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit, though, about how the physical ties in. Because I hear a lot of people saying right now, with everything going on, it's really felt important to them to feel strong in their body or at least um, that, the, because not, some people want to be really strong. Some people just want to be fit. You know, there's a continuum, but to feel like connected to their body and taking care of their body, not just with eating and sleeping and drinking water, those basics, but that need for movement, that need for um, joy and fitness. How does that play in? Because I think it really does connect to our mindset when we feel like, hey, I can easily do that. You know, I can walk across that or I can handle that or I can run that. Or, um, it gives you a, a, an edge mentally too. Oh, absolutely. It's a sense of empowerment, really, when you can set some goals and you can actually do them. And especially on a physical, um, you know, like, oh, I'm going to walk three blocks a day and then you walk four or, or whatever that may be, whatever that looks like for you. But you said some of the basics, but I don't want to overlook those because... Kate, those are so important, and especially times of now when people are anxious. They, are, I'm finding people that are more depressed. They're more uh, fear-based because they don't know what's going on in our world. Now is the time to really look within and take care of ourselves with the basics: getting enough sleep, quality sleep, drinking, and staying hydrated. It's been really hot where we are. I'm here in Orange County. It's 89 degrees today. I mean, you can see my sun tan. I mean, I'm, I'm out in the sun all the time because it's so gorgeous and hot. But staying hydrated, you can see I'm, I'm drinking all day long water with a little lemon these are super critical to take care of our health um and, and then the movement you mentioned is absolutely um important and it doesn't matter you don't have to go to a gym and lift heavy weights that's not what we're talking about here most of my clients want to tone and trim and just feel that empowerment and strength where they can do and pick up their child or their grandkids and get, walk up the flight of stairs i mean these are things that we tend to take for granted when we're an athlete but you know the general public, they need to look at that, and especially now, staying strong from within and outside is so important with the virus. Come on, we're in a pandemic right now. It's like that immune system has to stay strong. I get tested all the time. It's, you know, I'm on. I just did a feature film last week, and every cast and crew member has to be COVID tested every 48 hours to be on set. Yeah. It's 
crazy. Yeah, so it was like test after test, just, just nuts. But if I if I had it and I wasn't healthy, I wouldn't be able to work, <laughs> right? So it's, it's really important. I mean, it's just those small things we don't look at until something happens. So again, that sense of empowerment and knowing that you can physically do, even in sports, like I've got to be able to, you know, I'm so grateful. My um, chosen sister has a beautiful boat, so I've been wakeboarding like a fiend, <laughs> and it's very physical. It's really hard, but it's been so in the middle of the ocean. And the most awesome thing, guys, it's been with dolphins, hundreds oh, wow. of dolphins. I'm wakeboarding right. They're right next to my board. It's the most magical. I mean, that to me, that's God. It's like awesome, you know. But if I wasn't strong and I didn't feel well, I wouldn't be able to do that, enjoy this, and have that experience. So that just those things, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what level you're at. I mean, that's, you know, an extreme level. <laughs> you have a wakeboard with dolphins in the middle of the ocean here in Orange County. And I've done it almost every day. I'm <laughs> going again Saturday. So exciting. It's the most amazing thing ever. But we, now we've got tubes so everybody can enjoy it. They can't, you know, that aren't strong enough to do the wakeboard. They can lay in the tube and we pull people around. It's just, it's so magical. But just those things, um, being one with nature and being outside and moving is is so powerful. Very important. Yeah, and also the consistency with those things. Um, I know sometimes I'm an athlete too, and sometimes more of a weekend warrior, depending on how busy my week would get. And sure. in the last few weeks, I've just been consistent. And it's amazing the difference. I mean, I'd been consistent for years and then things just kind of got in the way. And the difference that I feel in just being consistent every day, like there's this core, I'm gonna do this core every day. And then if I can do more, great. And But if I don't, this is always in place. And it's made a huge difference in how I feel day to day because that's also a gift of self-care is consistency not putting ourselves and our own needs after everything else. And you're also describing having fun, <laughs> going out and doing something fun. Oh yeah, if I'm not having fun, I don't do it. <laughs> I'm spoiled that way, but I choose that. You see what I'm saying? We all have choices, what, what works for us. And that's another you know, thing that I love to empower other women about is you get to choose you. And that's one of the, actually one of my new topic titles. I choose me and I just think it just just that alone kind of sums it up and putting yourself in, and making a date with yourself even giving yourself one hour a day for you whatever it is whether it's taking a nap or eating your favorite food getting a massage getting a facial going to the gym whatever it is for you that one hour it's a date yourself and I just think that just that alone and putting it in your calendar I mean especially we're all busy women Mark that out, give yourself that time to do whatever was good for you, and it changes everything. Like every other hour of the day is changed because of that one hour. It's mm -hmm. super powerful, it's very enlightening, and it's exciting, and it makes you feel good. And when you feel good, everyone around you gets to feel good. So it's, it's, it's a no-brainer, really, if you think about it. But yet nobody hardly does it. You know, they wait till the end of the day, and then they're too tired, and they don't have to do anything for themselves. Then you get frustrated and then that builds the next day and the next day and, and i and i'm very guilty of that when this pandemic hit i was on zoom like eight nine hours a day for five months and i didn't work out at all and that's not like me and i started feeling that i wasn't happy anymore and i was just like gosh i i couldn't figure out what was wrong with me until i got out started wakeboarding with dolphins i'm like oh that's what's wrong <laughs> i need to live you know? <laughs> and it, yeah it's it's super important to really give yourself that time it's um, it will change your life seriously yeah, and I, I hear all the moms too, you know, of yeah. like, oh, but my kids, and I remember when my kids were little, and, and if, you know, you don't have a partner there, and, and you're working so many hours with them, but you can involve your kids in your fun too, you know, um, I would put on a workout video, I swear my daughter learned how to count to 10 watching P90X, you know, <laughs> she would just watch me, like, you can do it, there are ways. If you make that choice, like Lauren's talking about, choose yourself, pick one thing, even if you start doing it for five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day, and, and it doesn't have to be exercise, what brings you joy? When you decide to create space for it, it starts to take up more space and, and be there for you. And then it becomes your priority. <laughs> Once you start seeing results and you're having fun and, it, and your heart is filled, of course you're gonna to wanna to do it more. Why wouldn't you, right? Mm -hmm. Right.
Right. So, yeah, it, it, it's exciting when things start happening like that. And I, I love, you know, coaching other women when, I, when they start seeing that result and it starts shifting and they get more into it and they start sending me reports and they're like, oh, I lost two inches or whatever it may be. They're, it's it's so, it's exciting. These, you know, they're very powerful business women <laughs> acting like, you know, little girls going, look at, look at. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's thrilling, you know, because it's, it's for them and, it, and it's, it's self-serving and it's that self-care that, that people tend to overlook. I'm really excited about it. And um, in fact, I'm so excited. I'm doing a big ab challenge. If any reviewers want to jump in, it's going to be uh, uh, free. It's coming up actually next week. I don't know when this airs, but it's the 12th through the 16th. I'll be doing a lot of them, but it's on my Facebook group, the Body Breakthrough Club. For anybody that wants to listen, jump on. It's free. Body Breakthrough Club. It's for women like-minded that want to you know, put themselves first, everything that we've just been talking about, and be brave in this time in the world. We need each other. For it's, it's community and accountability. And I'm in there coaching and keeping everybody very positive, as you can see. I'm, I'm excited about it. So that's, um, I'd love to offer that, too. And, and then my book, too. I've got a free digital a copy for all your listeners. If they want to, to get beneath the muscle. It's, I believe it's laurenpowers.com forward slash beneath the muscle. And they get a free digital copy. Or if they meet Awesome. We'll have yeah. that in our below, too. So we really appreciate Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll put those links. Yeah. I'll give you the links, too. Yeah, I'm excited about this stuff. I, just, I love, you know, sharing and and empowering other women, especially to, you know, put their health as a top priority and not wait till something happens, you know, and especially in this time. And that's being brave, making that step, and especially the mothers, you know, because they feel they have to put, put everybody first and themselves last. And that's the opposite. It's the oxygen thing in the airplane, you know, put your mask on first. It's the same thing. You've got to take care of yourself first. And so your kids can benefit from that. So it's not being selfish, you know, it's being smart. So like that. You like that? Well, yeah, it's it's really important. I mean, you know, people you just say that about me too. They're, oh, God, Lauren, you're always doing something. You know, you're you're going to acupuncture, chiropractor, getting a massage. You're doing this. Or that. You're always doing something for yourself. I'm like, yes, because this is my temple. This is all I have. If I go down, everything around suffers, mm-hmm. right? If I don't feel good. <laughs> Everybody loses. <laughs> I'm a big baby, but. Yeah, but it's true, you know what I mean? So it's like keeping my, this machine running is, it takes effort, but I, I choose to do it. I make that choice on a daily basis. And I like what you said, Kate, too, is even giving yourself five minutes in the morning to set the intention of the day and part of your meditation or whatever it is that, you know, you're, you do your rituals and make that part of it and whatever it is. Like I'm going to do the, the ab thing and start you know, showing some simple things to get your metabolism going and some behind the scenes tricks and things that I do that have kept me going. I'm mean, I'm 58 and I feel like I'm, you know, 20. Literally I'm out there like I said, wait for you like a, you know, 18-year-old boy killing it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, but I went if I didn't take care of myself, I wouldn't have that energy. I don't know anybody that's my age that does what I do, but I I live the life I live because it's my choice. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. and that was what one thing I wanted to ask you of what's that secret sauce to your mindset? I mean, some of it is just who you are. But you stay really positive and i think you also focus on the positive can you absolutely to us about keeping yourself in that good positive mindset that high vibration well i i do a lot of self-development i work on myself continuously this is if it was easy everybody would do it like my motto right Mm -hmm. it takes effort and you have to you know apply yourself and set the intention set yourself goals and do the work. This doesn't just happen magically. You know what I mean? I don't just wake up and like on fire. Well, pretty much I do now. But I mean, but I've but I've been through a lot of you know leadership courses. I worked on myself, many things, trying to you know eliminate any um, negativity in my life, um, turn things around that have happened to me. Instead of looking at them as tragedy, I look at them as, them as opportunities. And I try to learn from everything that I've done in my life and keep growing. And I think that it, that it works for me. And I've seen it work for many, many of my mentors as well. And my coaches that I look up to, it's, they're not negative. Like <laughs> being negative is a waste of time to me. <laughs> it's like, it, it just is, it doesn't, get it, it doesn't get you anywhere and it doesn't help anybody else. So I like to just spread joy and being positive and happy. Clearly, I mean, you guys know me, you've seen, you've seen me. I've never like, you know, doom and droom, you know, it's just not my way. Cause I, I don't allow it, let's just put it that way. And I've worked on myself to 
keep positive and I and I coach on it and I hang out with other people that are like minded and that have the same energy I do, if not more, if you can imagine. <laughs> you know, if you look at Tony Robbins, he's up there like, you know, he's just like killing it. I mean that that to me is attractive. I, I resonate with that. So I hang out with people that I are that I want to be like. And we and then we feed off the energy off of each other. You know, if you're all negative and, and bored and you know, <laughs> depressed. I mean, you're not my people. <laughs> I just, you know what I mean? Because you have to choose to make a choice to, to, to change. And there's always help. There's always help. And that's the thing. You don't have to stay in this situation, and whether it's, you know, you're depressed or you're anxious or you live in fear right now. You know, you can, you know, reach out and change that fear for faith. I'm really big into that. I'm big into the church. I'm teaching Christian women how to surf now on Fridays. I mean, I'm just choosing all these different things to live my life the way I want to, but share it. And it's just, you know, when you give, and, and like I talked earlier about leading with generosity, that, you know, some of our coaches that we all share, you know, instill that in us. And it, it's it's powerful stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, exciting. it's exciting. It's exciting. It lights mm -hmm. you up. It lets you live your joy. And yeah. that's what I want people to hear. You know, some people are living it and loving it and some people are struggling right now and I, I loved what you said you know you can make a choice and you can always take that first one inch shift that starts to make a big difference because when you go miles down the road just a one inch shift is going to make a difference where you end up and and the trajectory of your life and having people like Lauren I mean you just light up a room and it's fun to be in your presence and fun to have you here and I hope people are feeling that feeling that energy is contagious and it sparks something in you too as you're listening yeah I want to share <laughs> can't give it up for myself right <laughs> I, I get fueled by just by sharing with other especially other women like in my groups in my community in my tribe like I said earlier, when they start getting results and, and it's just an excitement and it's very contagious. That was a good word because it, it truly is. Mm -hmm. And you want to hang out with other contagious people that are doing the same things and going down the same journey that you are. Like you ladies, I mean, we've, we've already met at leadership and we're all, you know, in the same container doing this, you know, striving for the same thing. And I love that you're sharing, you know, on how to be brave. That's just amazing. And being brave is, is fierce. You got to make a choice because we can be scared and, be, you know, oh, keep to ourselves and not do anything and be and, and keep quiet and not make change in the world or we can step up take risk because it's not easy being out in this in the limelight and being things like this I, you know I put myself out there almost every day and do I worry about what people think I cannot I have no time for that I'm on another show the next day like I don't <laughs> you want to talk on me is that's on you you know I choose not to listen I don't care because I can't I'm too busy sharing positive things and if people don't like it then they're just not my people and so I'm, as we say in leadership, not be attached to the results, right? I'm never attached to anything, anything, especially, you know, gossip and negativity and all that. You just can't. You got to let those things go because that will affect you. And the more in the limelight you are, like I consider a public figure, I've taken a lot of heat in, in my career. I just have. One for being different, looking the way I do, being the energy I have. People just get threatened by it and freaked out by it. And so they want to tear me down. And if I allowed that, I would have been destroyed years ago. And I've been bullied and discriminated against in the fire service. I've had all kinds of stuff it's all in my book. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I, just, I, I, I use it again. That opportunity comes up, and I can either stay in that or I can choose to change it and move on and thrive and survive these things that have happened to me. It's called life and not let it tear me down. It, it actually propels me now. I use anything like that that comes at me. I'm like, oh, sweet, more, you know, anybody try to keep me down just makes me shoot even further. So it's amazing how that works. Honestly, I made a deal with myself. The more like negative people that were trying to, you know, bash on me, I use that for fuel to actually propel me and it's really worked. But what's happened, ladies, is that that negative talk that I used to hear a little bit, it's like dissipated. Because people like that, they know they can't affect me anymore, and it's really it's amazing how that how that happens. And it it, it doesn't happen because it doesn't there's it doesn't serve a purpose. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, I love what you said just a little bit ago, where you're saying you're not like that anymore because it's the habit that you've developed of that positivity and just not even bringing that in. And so I think it's 
you know, for, for any of our listeners out there that may be feeling discouraged or feeling like they are struggling with keeping those negative thoughts at bay or whatever it might be that's affecting them, just remembering like it's a process of making it a habit of not thinking that way. And so just every little step, every little, you know, thing you do each day of shifting is just one more, you know, point in your bucket of shifting that habit into more positive thinking. Absolutely. And it really works. It really works because that can get it in a cellular level and really affect your your health even when you have all this negative stuff. And that's why I like what you guys are doing with the your your um, show here is really, I, that's why I said yes to it because I love that because it's a movement and the more people you can get involved to help collectively, we start with ourselves, but then it's a collective community and that will shift energy so much faster than one by one. So the more we could gather up or like-minded people to help, let's just be brave and powerful and empower people and just not reflect negative off of us and just keep going and set your intentions and just keep pushing through no matter what's grown at you, just push it aside, don't let it in. And I think that's what's really powerful is those limiting beliefs can destroy you if you let them. But if you choose not to <laughs> and change your limiting beliefs to positive beliefs, the world is is here for you to make huge changes and dream bigger and make huge things happen. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm doing it every day. Like it's amazing things I don't even think were possible. It's like happening, but you, you got to ask though. You have to just reach out and you have to say yes to things like this. Just say yes. And we're all busy and all that, but you know what? You make time and make things your priority that are going to make a difference. And if you're going to help other people, that's huge. Cause it's not about you anymore. Like I talk about all self care and self love. Yes. But when I shifted that, because I used to only have to worry about myself, but now that I'm on the other side of this thing and in women's empowerment, it's nothing to do with me. It's all what I can do for others. <laughs> and it changed everything. You know, it's seriously, it's, you know, Amy was one of my coaches, as you, as you ladies know. And when I had that breakthrough, she's like, yes! Because <laughs> it, it, it shifted everything. You know, when you get out of yourself and just look at how you can serve others. And I think that's what your show is about, too, is just collectively serving others on a bigger scale. And I just love that. I'm very proud of you, ladies. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, and you knew that because you had the foundation of taking care of yourself. And what I'm hearing you say is change is possible. You know, we think mm -hmm. that we're stuck and we're not. And sometimes it's just the first step that takes you down the road to where you want to go. But when, when you said that, you know, the negativity doesn't even, you shifted not only how it affected you from where it could be hurtful to fuel, and then it doesn't even come anymore because you learned the lesson. And we have, I want people to hear that. Like she's saying, there's no charge on it anymore. Because exactly. she, I like that. she right. is, yeah, no charge. Like, yeah, it's just neutral. And so as we get connected and clear on who we are and as we're doing that self-care, part of it is also just connecting to ourselves and knowing ourselves so that we can be brave in life, so that we're not knocked about by every small obstacle or every big obstacle, because there are big obstacles right now. How do we keep moving forward in choosing the direction that we want to go and in choosing the mindset we want to have and the thoughts we want to have and the joy that we want to have? Let's go for it. Like it's time mm -hmm. now. If everything's shifting, let's go for the joy. Let's go for the change that we want instead of feeling like we have no, no choice or control. Exactly. I love it. Because it, it's quit watching the news. <laughs> That's probably the most uh -huh. there is. My mom got obsessed with that when this first came out. She was calling me every day. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Like, and I'm like, Mom, turn that off because it was an uh -huh. You know, and so she did, and now she's so much better, like a hundred percent better. She's just all positive. She's living her life now. She's back working, like being normal as possible, and being careful. You have to be smart, of course, you know, but you don't have to be so doom and gloom about this. Listening to the news can just ruin you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I I heard someone say the other day: brave over fear. Be and like because I think. Sometimes we might think of the word brave as just like, just go out and do whatever. And, and I think it's in a way, you know, being aware, brave is being aware and smart, 
but I'm not living in fear. So it's not like just throwing it all out and doing whatever you want, but like going forward and throwing the fear out and, you know, living from that space. Absolutely. You know, I say all the time, replace fear with faith. That's been my thing for a long time. Yeah. And how do you know, I create fear as females. And that's one of the ways is replacing that, that fear. It's very, it's, it's not a positive thing. I mean, you can waste your whole life being afraid of everything instead of being brave and going for it, but just being smart about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. it's a, a combination, really, like you said. Well, and really faith lets us take those risks if we trust in life. If we, You know, we really become, like, I'm the yes to life person. How do we become a yes to life, to the adventure of life? and step out in faith and trust that we can interact with life in a positive way and enjoy it. Absolutely. That's right. You got to trust. That's right. Yes. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> this doesn't have to be hard. We don't, I think we make things harder than they need to be sometimes. And we get overwhelmed. This word overwhelmed is, I don't even like to use that word anymore because it doesn't make any sense. You know, I choose not to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just strategize things. There's help. There's so many courses out there now and coaches and mentors and role models that, and books and self-help, leadership courses. I mean, there's so many things available to us now with the internet and, you know, we never have to leave our house and we can get so, so much information that can help us, you know, and if we're having trouble with limiting beliefs or having trouble with, you know, our health and, and being upset or living in fear, you know, there's, there's ways to get out. You just have to look for it and ask for help. And that, to me, asking for help is being brave. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a brave thing. You know, I, I had to learn that myself because I was, you know, I can always do it, do it myself. I'm a, you know, I don't want to ask anybody for anything. Well, that keeps you small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, we're in it together. We're in it together. Better. <laughs> Bring it, you know, I like to ask the experts whatever it is. I don't claim to be an expert in all these things. I'm an expert in a few things, and that's, I stay in my lane. But, you know, like building websites and doing all the stuff that, you know, I'm like, that my VA does that. I don't want to even want to know how to learn that. That's not my, that's not my lane, you know? So it's like picking your lane, what you're good at, what you're meant to be, what your passion, what your purpose is, following that, staying true to yourself, living, you know, heartfelt and, and with generosity and living in, you know, faith versus fear being brave, being fierce, doing the right things in life and being smart and having that self-care and choose you first. You can't go wrong. Oh. Beautifully <laughs> said. That is beautiful. Yeah. Lauren, thank you so much for sharing your joy with us today. The beautiful, generous gift of the digital copy of your book, Beneath the Muscle. Um, we're I so excited to have that. I hope that you all have been inspired today and even just laughed and had joy and know that you can do it. So go out and be brave. Clarissa yeah. or Lauren, any final words? No, I'm just excited. I love what you ladies are doing. I'm proud to be part of this thing. Um, being brave is where it's at and staying fierce. <laughs> what did I say? Anyway? It's, it's brave to be fierce, fierce to be brave. What did I say? <laughs> You have to be brave. Oh. To be fierce. <laughs> yeah. You have to be brave and fierce. <laughs> there you go. Works for me. Chicks train harder. Anyways, yeah, I'd love to, you know, jump on my Facebook group. I'm there. You can DM me, and I'm here for you. If you, anything I said, you know, resonates with you, you know, jump on a call with me. I've got lots of things going on and, and offer, and I'm helping all kinds of women in a lot of these areas that we just talked about: how to erase limiting beliefs, how to put yourself first, put health your top priority and live the life that you want to live with joy and positivity. So I have all that. I'm ready to share it. I'd love to um, talk with some of your listeners, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm here for you. And the Facebook group's free. The app challenge is coming up. That's free. Let's get your get yourself going. And I'm going to jump on that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to jump on that, yeah. Yes. Um, I'll give you the, I'll send you guys all the links. Okay, thank you. All right, yeah, we'll Lauren Powers, here. we love you. We're so thank glad you. to share the day with you. And to everyone else, keep tuning in. We're glad you're here. Be brave, be fierce. Yay.